Today's video? Yeah, today's video is going to be all over the place. Alright guys, it is 60 degrees here in January, so I'm going to take advantage and do a little cleaning under here on the front of my truck, near the front cross member, front axle, where I have my skid plates usually there off, so I'm going to take advantage with the warm weather. I'm going to go up and clean up the front cross member here and then hit it with a nice coat of fluid film. Not like this is anything revolutionary, just to share with you guys to hopefully keep it in your mind, fluid film underneath your trucks. I'll be using a few simple products, get this cleaned up, and protect it from the upcoming winter. And if you are new to the Tacoma Holic channel and enjoy everything Tacoma related, go ahead and subscribe now. Now there are of course tons of different cleaners you guys can use. I'll be using Super Clean. I've used both this spray and the foaming spray before with great success on the inside of the engine bay. Always read the directions to make sure you're using it properly for the Super Clean. In particular, you want to spray it on a cool, dry surface. And I'm actually going to be agitating mine with a bristle brush, water in a bucket. Probably won't have to since on the cross member it's just going to be dirt. It's not like it's going to be oil and grease and stuff. Uh, if you're using Super Clean in particular, just be careful. I've noticed it's very like sort of like a harsh vapor. So make sure you're upwind of wherever you're spraying and use a glove to keep your hands safe. Now the next part is pretty boring since we are literally just waiting for everything under there to air dry. I suppose you could get a fan on it to speed things up, but I got time. And it'll give me a moment to say one quick thing. Some of you might have noticed I no longer have the bed rack on my truck. Now if you are new to the channel, I used to have a bed rack on my truck, but I don't now. I'm curious to see what you guys think I'm up to with this. Comment below. All right, guys, everything is air dry now. Got it nice and clean. Already looking 100 times better getting all the dirt off there. Time for the fluid film application. If you guys have never used fluid film before, you can do a quick Google search, but you'll quickly find out it is a great thing to spray, particularly on your undercarriage on Toyota Tacomas, since they are susceptible to rust. It is a great rust prevention spray. Google it, check it out. Now you can pretty much spray this stuff anywhere with the exception of your brake parts. And if you are just doing like a larger flat surface, you can spray it directly on there. It goes on kind of like WD-40. But since the surface I'm using has like all kinds of curves and different angles, I'm actually, I like to like spray it onto a regular like shop latex glove. Sort of get it on there nice and thick. That way I can just work it wherever I want. When I do this process with the glove, I actually like to pretend I'm a farmer getting ready to artificially inseminate a cow. Quick shot of the fluid film on all of the exterior surfaces here where I'm doing this just to show you guys. This stuff sort of soaks in over the next few days, sort of like lotion on your skin. So even though you, when you do this, I guarantee you, even if you clean it like I did, you're gonna find extra dirt and stuff. Don't worry, that's perfectly fine. But afterwards, after you give it a few days, it sort of soaks in and it almost looks like you just painted whatever it is you put the fluid film on. So it uh, gives it a sort of a nice finish, which of course is gonna protect that metal surface from rust. But we are not done there. This is the fluid film wand attachment. It is a, I know you can't see it on the camera right there, but that is a 360 degree nozzle. Just gonna remove the regular nozzle on the can, put this in, and you can actually take this and you can see it's at least a foot long. You can slide the tip of that into all of the holes, specifically on your frame or whatever. 
on this one you probably can't see them on the camera but there are a ton of them so i'll just slide this in and then spray the fluid film and then pull it out while i'm spraying that's what she said <laughs> that way you get that extra coverage on the inside where water is more likely to get trapped and cause a rust issue if you guys are interested in grabbing one of these to go with your fluid film i'll put a link in the description below All right, everybody, it is time to wrap up the quick fluid film video. I do plan on doing like a full undercarriage how-to tutorial with fluid film. Obviously, I missed it for this winter, probably for next year, so stay tuned for that in the future next year. I would like to hear from you guys if you fluid film anything on your truck this year or if you've used fluid film before and what you think of it, so comment below. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you in the next video.